Bonjour! Welcome or welcome back to French Action. Well, I have been hearing quite a few mistakes recently regarding the pronunciation of the H. What do we say? Les hôpitaux ou les hôpitaux? I know that you have learned that there's a liaison to be made after les, but it doesn't always apply to words starting with an H. So I have decided to make this video to help you and especially to help those who have to read for their oral exams. So, vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! So you have learned that the H is silent. Okay, so you say j'habite la Thailand, which is Thailand, le thé, which is tea, the tea you drink. So here, no pronunciation. That's what we have learned. The H is silent, but there are two types. There's the le H muet, and muet, I'm sure you can guess what it means in English is mute. It means that it's not pronounced at all. And you have the H aspiré. And this one is a funny one because it's silent as well, but it's called aspiré. Aspiré, probably in the old days, a word like haunt used to be said haunt. So you would you would really pronounce the H, haunt, instead of haunt. But nowadays, there's no difference in terms of pronunciation because the H is just silent. But it's important to understand that there's two types. Another thing, or another concept we need to really understand is what we call l'élision. You know about l'élision already because you've been doing it since uh, you started French, but never knew that it was called l'élision. So l'élision is basically, when you say j'habite, you know that the je, uh, the apostrophe of the je, uh, stands for the little e we have for I, I live, j'habite. The same for hibiscus, you have the le, of hibiscus and l'hôpital, le le of hôpital. And that is called l'élision. The pronunciation of the H will vary according to whether that word beginning with an H can have an élision or a liaison. I remind you that a liaison is when you have this link between a word ending with a consonant which is going to run into a word starting with a vowel and that is going to make it flow much better. So let's look at some words starting with l'élision. L'hôtel, l'homme which means the man, l'histoire, the history. Now let's look at the one which have la liaison, an hotel, an homme, une histoire. So basically what I'm saying here is that even though l'hôtel can have a liaison, an élision, it can also have a liaison. So Basically, a word with an elision can have a liaison. That's simple, isn't it? So, liaison or no liaison? Well, I can tell you straight away the answer. We have seen that le H muet, with the H muet, you can have liaison. We can say les hôtels, les histoires les heures, but with the H aspiré, I have put some red crosses so that you can remember that there is no liaison. For example, here you cannot say 
les haricots. You must say les haricots. And I have to say, this is a common mistake, even with the French people, especially the children. Uh, children think that is les haricots. It's probably easier to say, but it's incorrect. Les haricots. Les héros. Les hérissons. I know what you're thinking now, but how do you how do you know which age it is? Well, there is an answer. There is an answer to this. I have put here a picture of haricot, which I looked up in the dictionary, in my uh, Larousse dictionary. And as you can see by the word, there's a little asterisk. And this indicates that it's an H aspiré which means that there's no liaison. So each time you look for a word starting with an H and you see this asterisk, you know that there will be no liaison. I know you don't look up words in paper dictionaries anymore. So I have looked up the word Omar on the online Larousse dictionary. And Omar, you know, means lobster. As you can see, there's also an asterisk. And this shows that it is an H aspiré. So, no liaison. Le Omar. Les Omar. So, you know how to find out which H it is. I know you must be thinking, oh gosh, all this. But if you think about it, it's very interesting to see that all this is done to stop the confusion. For example, if I hear l'eau, straight away I'm thinking the water. But if I hear le eau, I know that the person will be talking about the top, the top he or she is wearing, not water. The same in the plural, les eaux. We know that it's water, and in fact, it can also be les os, meaning the bones, by the way, or les o, les o, which would be the plural of le o. Interesting, isn't it? Other examples of this? Les ro, if I hear les ro, I'm going to think burps, okay? as opposed to le héros. So it's not the same thing. Les ris sont, it means the cracks are, because ris is a crack, as opposed to le hérisson. So as you can see, it's, 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 it does help. Otherwise, if we had the elision with héros and hérisson, we would be confused. And the final example of this is le H and la H, as you can see with the little drawing here. Um, if we had an elision with the H here, you would think about lash, and lash means coward. So I think everything is done to stop the confusion. I don't know if it was the case, but that's what I have noticed. So I have decided to put some examples here so that you can see which ones are muet and which ones are aspiré. So for the H muet, habitation, habitude, hamster, herbe, and for the one which cannot have a liaison or no elision, all, arant, at, auteur. More examples, heure, horaire, 
horloge. And for the no liaison or no elision, hamac, hasard, harp. More examples. Hibiscus, hirondelle, huître. And for the ones with no liaison or no elision, auteur, héros, hit parade. Last examples, humeur, humour, hymne, honte, hot dog, harang. So, what do we say? L'hirondelle ou la hirondelle? We say l'hirondelle. L'hublot ou le hublot? We say le hublot. L'hélicoptère ou le hélicoptère? L'hélicoptère. L'hibiscus? Ou le hibiscus. L'hibiscus. L'hérisson ou le hérisson. Le hérisson. L'hameçon ou le hameçon. L'hameçon. I have created a text for you. Liaison or no liaison? So in red, you have all the H's and you need to decide whether you're going to have your liaison or not. Good luck. My answer follows this. Voici ma version. Les habitués du café ont hâte de revenir pour manger des hot dogs sans honte et dans la bonne humeur. Ils habitent non loin du café, près d'un parc avec des hibiscus qui attirent les hirondelles et les hérissons. Hey guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope that you have understood the use of this H, which is not easy even for the French. Uh, so you know what to do. If you like it, please like the video, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. Au revoir, à la prochaine.